Hello Jefferson parents, my name is Scott Sealing, and this year I'm teaching Online English 10, English 10, English 9, and Public Speaking. I also coach the B-Squad girls volleyball team in the fall, the speech team in the winter, and the boys volleyball team in the spring. And this is my 22nd year teaching at Bloomington Jefferson. I grew up in Lake Crystal, Minnesota, where both my parents were high school teachers. My high school was a lot smaller than Jefferson, however. Uh, we graduated with 80 students, and that's only after we paired my senior year. Otherwise, I would have graduated with 38. Uh, my hometown has a population of about 2,000, which is about the same as Jefferson if you add up all the students and the staff. This is a picture of my family uh, on a trip we took to Los Angeles this summer where our daughters played in a beach volleyball tournament. My family is really involved in volleyball. I coach. Uh, my wife used to play volleyball. Both our daughters play on the varsity team this year, Ellie and Cassie. And my wife, Deb, actually graduated from Jefferson in 1989, and she played volleyball here. And we both live in, or we all live in Bloomington, just a few miles from the school. So the best way to find out what's happening in your student's class is to find my website, either through the hub or on the Jefferson webpage. And you should end up on my homepage, which looks like this. You can see there are links at the top right to each of my classes. And so I'll just take you through those one at a time. If you click on my English 9 link, if your student is in English 9, the webpage looks like this. Uh, you can see about halfway down there is a calendar um, of all the things that we do during class. And if you click on the date, you'll see what we specifically did that day. So if your student is ever absent, this is the place to go and they can get any handouts. Um, that are online or presentations and just see exactly what they missed by clicking on the date. Uh, there's a couple other links you can see for the Moodle room for the course that actually takes you to the testing site that we use and then there's another link for important assignments and those are the composition assignments, the papers and projects that we do for English 9 so they can get all the information about those assignments there. If your student is in English 10, this is what the web page looks like. Again, there is a calendar, and if you click on the dates, that will take you to a specific presentation that shows what we did that day, and it would also include any presentations um, or handouts that I have online. There's also a Moodle room for the course where we test, and then there's also a link to important assignments for English 10. If your student is in online English 10, that is all on Moodle Rooms, and you would have to ask your student to show you um, the Moodle Rooms. Or if you want to request guest access, you can send me an email and I can send that to you. Um, I don't have a calendar for that um, class because it's self-paced and students can work at their own pace. Some of them work ahead, some stick to the schedule, and that is all self-contained within the Moodle Room site. Finally, if your student is in public speaking, the class webpage looks like this, and it's very similar. The only difference is I don't have links for each date since we don't have a lot of um, specific things on each day. A lot of times we're giving speeches, and so I don't need a specific presentation. Uh, they can get all of the handouts and anything they miss just by clicking the links within the little boxes on the calendar. And then this class is a hybrid course, so on Fridays um, they actually can work online. They can either do that at home or uh, go to the Flex Spaces, and that's what we use Moodle for. And there's a link on the website to get to that. So that's all the info I had to share with you at this time, but feel free to email me or voicemail me anytime if you have questions or concerns. I've really enjoyed getting to know your students the first few weeks of school, and I look forward to another successful school year. Thanks.